Hello and welcome to Milo and Marcus Garage. It has indeed been a while since uh, the last episode, uh, but a lot has happened. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce to you our new member of the garage. No, it's not a person. It is the Honda Shadow 750 C2 from 1998. This motorcycle is our first fully fledged motorcycle, which I can legally drive. Finally, because as you might remember from the episodes of the Honda CX, unfortunately, it's got 2.8 horsepower too much for me to be you know for me to be legally able to drive the bike which sucks but well here we are with basically my dream motorcycle very cool very big it's quite heavy weighs around 250 um, kilograms it has 750 cc's uh, around 45 horsepower on paper, although it's probably slightly less, as usual. It's got 63 newton meters of torque, uh, disc brakes in the front, and it's got, you know, barrel brakes in the rear of the motorcycle, and lots of cool features. First of all, lots of bags. Bag, 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 just bags everywhere. Here, a nice a wee little um, luggage compartment. But the cool stuff. There's my dog, as always, barking on the bikes. The sound of this, the sound of this bike is just oh. As you've probably heard now, the sound is just, it's wonderful. It's a proper V-twin, big CCs, well, big for Europe. Just lovely sound. But that's not the end. Right here in the front, lots of cool features. First of all, digital clock, digital thermometer, ram mount, which is the, it's, it's the same ram mount, ram mount that I've had on my previous bikes. It just works well, so I, I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep using it over here. We've got a 12 volt phone charger or USB charger and 12 volt, 12 volt uh, uh, lighter socket charger. Very cool. I can power things like you know pumps, kettles, charge my phone, obviously stuff like that. But that's not the end of uh, this lovely feature. Right here is a very cool button that when you press it and click a couple of times, it starts heating up your grips. So when you're driving around in the ice cold Norwegian weather, you can really feel warmth on your fingers. It's pleasant. It's astonishingly delightful indeed. And of course, a quite nice little wee windscreen. It's, um, you know, it's a windscreen, so it protects you from wind and rain and birds. And also mileage. On this motorcycle is 5,800 kilometers, which basically means, considering this motorcycle is uh, 23 years old, it's nothing. It's 5,800 uh, 5, kilometers is nothing, on, you know, for 23 years of motorcycle. So um, it's brand new, and um, yes. It was an expensive bike, but totally worth it. I can finally ride, ar ride around, you know, on a proper bike. I can finally go on long distance trips without having to, you know, just kill the motorcycle in the process. Because as you might remember, during the summer vacation, uh, I actually did a Norway trip, you know, from Eusterville, which is nearby Bergen, up to Trondheim, which is quite up north. 
and then loop de loop de and back at almost 2,000 kilometers. That was a pain in the ass because that wasn't on <laughs> the one two five cc motorcycle, which is basically a lawn mower with two wheels, right? So um, this thing here can take me to Poland and back without any issues. Um, you will obviously be uh, seeing a motor vlog of uh, of this motorcycle in the near future. As you might see, the weather did improve a wee bit uh, over the last couple of weeks. It's uh, relatively rideable, a bit chilly still, so I would like to wait for, you know, at least 12 degrees. That would be lovely. So this bike, it's gonna be great. Another news of the day is, guess what happened to the Derby? Did I crash it? Yes, but not this time. Did something break on it? Well, actually, yes, but I already replaced it. Then... Ah, I sold it, I sold it, ladies and gentlemen. The derby is gone. But not quite. You see, the person standing behind you, the cameraman, bought the derby. So, um, yeah, he did it. It's, um, it's gonna be cool. We're going to be riding together um, quite a bit during the summer, hopefully. And um, still, you're probably going to see the Derby in action and in the workshop at least a couple of times. Because I will obviously be helping around with the maintenance of the bike. Um, other news? The Lux Torpedo Ford Escort of mine got a wee bit of service. Brand new brakes in the rear. New battery. A very, very decent stereo system for the car. Um, and a couple of other features. Like new um, uh, new arches, rear arches. Which is, you know, the things that hold the tires and wheels onto it. The old ones were quite rotten. And I felt that they needed to be replaced. Which they actually did. Because when uh, we took it off, it turned out that they were uh, dead. They were like minutes away from you know falling apart which is um you know not particularly safe so yeah that's been changed so a couple of new things very nice i mean the car itself just drives better and better every week because i've you know i've been servicing it quite a bit lately uh in other news uh, we've got a couple of new cool projects coming up soon maybe later than sooner or some of them might be sooner than later we'll see how things go um, and right now I would like to uh, show you around on our new projects, or upcoming projects. Alright, so this thing here is an SMC Minstrel 50cc. I know, a long name, it's a Chinese scooter that's extremely, uh, sorry, not a scooter, but an ATV. It's an, it is extremely popular in Norway because it's cheap, it's it's pretty okay quality and just works most of the time. This thing here uh, was given to me for free because it's not working. Um, we thought it was actually seized because the um, you know I tried to turn over the engine with the kickstand uh, with a Kickstarter uh, and the Kickstarter just you know didn't want to budge. So I thought, well, it's seized. Um, I've done already a bit of work onto it, meaning that I just took off some parts and put on a new battery, stuff like that. And it actually turned out that um, it's not seized. I managed to start it, and uh, surprise, surprise, it's the kickstart that's broken. So we will still need to do a lot of work on this, but the plan is, is just, you know, fix it up to decent condition and flip it, and make some cash on it. Yeah.